Sports science is often shot down by elite fighters. Fighters that offer themselves as world-class performers who don't follow a scientific approach to their training and often criticize the performance of others that do. And it's an understandable mindset when that's appeared to be the reality for you personally. Welcome to the Heavy Hitters podcast, helping ambitious fighters and coaches take their game to the next level by bridging the gap between strength and conditioning, performance science and Muay Thai. And here is your host, Don Hedrick. We all have certain things that come easier for us and other things that are more difficult. And peak performance is nothing but getting your biology to work for you rather than against you. But it's crucial to understand that your biology is unique to you. It's a major error in coaching and training to take what you found works for you and to try to teach that to other people. Genetics, an early childhood environment, where you are on the introvert-extrovert scale, your risk tolerance, all make a huge difference to how you approach peak performance. The beauty of using a science-based approach is that it's evidence-based. It's cross-referenced and tested by others in different circumstances and situations, so we can be more certain that it'll work for others too. Another huge plus to the science-based approach is that it uses a common language that allows us to bridge the gap between lots of different knowledge bases. So we can learn lots from other disciplines and gain advantage from what's been found to work in other fields outside of our own too. A science-based approach allows you to see the big picture, to distinguish between underlying scientific principles and specific training methods. This separation helps coaches to see how the principles apply to everyone, but that the training methods that apply those principles must be targeted to suit the individual fighter. Does using a science-based approach guarantee success? No. Every individual needs to dial in their own mix to suit their personal biology. You may get lucky early on, or you may have to experiment to find what works for you. And your personal biology may not be as well suited to the task as others either. But by using a scientific approach, you can test and identify a more appropriate path to peak performance far quicker. A path that exploits your biology and builds it in ways that match the task of fight performance more accurately, instead of bending your biology to the natural biological path of someone else. Many of the greats are considered naturals by those looking on, and often by the great fighters themselves too. However, there are others that have found that they initially struggled in their training and their performance, but that they've managed to adapt the training to better exploit their abilities and unlock their true potential. A science-based approach simply increases your chances of finding this route, especially when you haven't been lucky enough to adopt the training approach that matches your biology to a greater extent early on. Avoiding assumptions is crucial if you're serious about either unlocking your own peak performance or helping others to achieve that. Thanks for listening. If you found this valuable, please like, subscribe and share with someone else it could help too. Please give the podcast a review or comment below. We'd love to hear from you. As always, you can visit heatrick.com for more Muay Thai performance podcasts, videos, articles and guides. Catch you next time.